I have been trying my wings. I feel much stronger now. What's the matter? Tomorrow I must marry Mr. Digger, the mole. He's old and ugly and wants to live underground all the time. I will no longer get to see the forest and the butterflies and the beautiful blue sky. Do you love him? No, I don't love him. I respect him. And I appreciate what Mrs. Mole has done for me. She is just too old to continue my support. It isn't fair for her to have to worry on my account. Rather than marry, why don't you go away? There are many places for a girl like you. Where? I know nothing of the world or what to do. I would be lost and a worse fate would befall me. That is not true, Thumbelina. Every summer I fly north and as autumn comes I fly south. I see many places and towns where they have people, people like you. My foster mother was not like me. I'm so much smaller. I know, but a mole is not even the same thing. You must find a person, a human being to marry. I'm sure someplace in our travels we can find one. Our travels? Yes, I'm taking you with me and we are going south. Winter is coming soon and I don't want to be caught again. Thumbelina, you saved my life. And now I'm going to try to help you. But Mrs. Mole would worry. Mrs. Mole only wants you to be happy. I promise when we have found the proper place for you, I will fly back here and tell her what happened. And you will tell Mr. Mole that I didn't mean to hurt his feelings or anything, or insult him. It was just that, well, I thought I could find a better husband elsewhere. Of course. Now climb on and let's see. Mr. Digger and I were disappointed to have her leave so suddenly. But after talking it over, we realized how much we had been asking of the little oh, girl. The world is so she beautiful. needed people of her own Thank kind you, Mr. and the things around her she I loved. I feel not far from here. It's the kingdom of the flower children. Perhaps you'll like Are they young? Do they look like me? We will see.